Hey there, this is a, a cry for help, please. I'm requesting conspiracy cats can please. But when you scroll, you see when, including the issue of. Welcome. Then more Flat Earth geniuses have tried to respond to Professor Dave's video. This time on Nathan Ockley's Daily Show. How do you think they succeed? As usual, they will probably not be able to give very many sensible answers. Over to Nathan and his friends. Welcome to Flat Earth Debate, an Oakley 1980 channel. Welcome. Uh, and he's showing a AE map, of course, and explains how it can't be the real map. Uh, so that's a, that's a straw man uh, already. Uh, so generally, pe people in the Flat Earth community are not claiming that it's the actual map of the Flat Earth. It's often used as a representation, and it's a good way of visualizing the Flat Earth. What you do, you can't get it to be accurate for some reason, and they always say it's because you can't wrap a ball around on a, on a plane. Right, so the piece of paper that you're drawing it on, or the screen, you can't wrap a sphere around it, and that's what they say. However, the fact is that all the maps that he claims that he thinks are right in the first place are openly admitted to be wrong anyway because of the way they're presented. So it's a straw man argument. You're right. Now the other thing is, it's also a burden of proof reversal because it isn't on us to prove because it isn't for us to prove anything unless we uh, unless we make claims. So we're not really making claims. No one claims that the AE map is actually a map. We're just saying it's a depiction, a description, an, an, an idea to get your head around the basic concept, right? It's not being touted as a map. That is a burden of proof reversal. And the other thing that's bizarre about his claim is, um, uh, oh, right. So when he professes, when he says Professor Dave explains, and, and Adam was saying that um, it's a misrepresentation because he's not actually this, that, and the other, that's no different to people like Bob the Fallacy Guy when he claims the word science in his name and blue marble science. None of them know what science is. Science is a method. We've gone over it a hundred times. None of them know what a method is. Bob the Fallacy Guy tells people that you don't have to manipulate your independent variable. You can just watch nature take its course. Well, that's known as an observation or a correlation, but it's definitely not science. It's part of science, but it falls short. And he still maintains that position today, which is why I don't bother engaging with him. The guy's a moron. So just because Professor Dave presents himself as a professor and Blue Marble Science presents himself as some kind of ape scientist and Bob the Science Guy presents himself as some kind of science guy and Mick West presents to be some kind of science communicator, none of these guys know what science is. But everybody wants that comforting lie. That's why they can spew any nonsense and all the subs will just work, will lap it up like cats lapping up milk because they want to believe the inconvenient truth, the inconvenient lie. That's what they want. All they're doing is playing up to the drongles of society and we're encouraging it by not pointing it out. We should be pointing it out every minute. Sorry, I'm done. All right, just a quick shout out to Theo Megawerty. He says... Massively increasing the radius destroys all supported orbital pathways. The heliocentric model then degenerates. Do ballers not realise this? I'll answer your rhetorical question. No, they don't. They're dumbos. They don't realise any of this. They're currently shooting themselves in the faces and then walking around like headless zombies thinking they've achieved something. I mean, he's showing the AE map. Uh, I mean, he doesn't clearly know what as a muscle equidistant projection is. Uh, so maybe you should look look up things. Uh, and he's also saying, so anybody should be able to go into the world and make an accurate map of it. So my question is, why don't we have an accurate map? Of yeah, that's a very good point for me to add exactly the same or reiterate the and same that, point. He, As Anthony pointed out earlier, it's a burden of proof reversal fallacy. We, we're not asserting a model. That's a reification fallacy. The map is not the territory. The map is not the terrain. The ground we're standing on is not a map. That's reification if you assert that a sphere-shaped model is the ground we're standing on, which he is. He's asserting the Earth is this sphere-shaped model. Reification. But I'd like to see it. I want to see the model he's claiming. I want to actually see it. So I'm not claiming a model. So this doesn't apply to me. 
for all the people spamming my comments with it. This doesn't apply. We don't reify models. We're not morons. We're not like this dick who's reified a model. It's clearly a heliocentric model. Look up reification. The fallacy of misplaced concretedness. Taking that which is not concrete, a model, heliocentric in this instance, and making it concrete like we're standing on an actual sphere. Now to you guys, that might seem absurd. Well, we are standing on a sphere. No, you're just guilty of the fallacy of misplaced concreteness. They make it clear when they taught you at school that it's a model. So you let's see it. Can... If we're going to have a, a, an yeah, argument about models and their accuracy, not that we hold true to one, we're not asserting any models. But as he is, I want to see it. Please note that we have not cut this discussion in a way that is unfavorable to them. These are some of their answers to one of Dave's 10 questions. It should probably be one of the easier questions to answer. But already on this question they show that Flat Earth is nothing more than a fantasy of fools. They have no answers, which they try to hide with lots of nonsense. They spend a lot of time on different YouTubers' names. That they use professor, science, and other words in their names. What do these boys have for education? Nathan, do you have any relevant higher education? So what do they really say? They claim that no flat earther claims to have a working map. In defense, they claim that there are no working maps for a round earth either. Again, these gentlemen cannot think in three dimensions. The fact that we have different map projections that are good for navigating different things is due to the difficulty in making a flat map of a globe. Therefore, you make, for example, maps that work well at the poles, others that work better closer to the equator. Nathan, Sleeping Warrior, and their comrades do not understand map projections. Maybe these geniuses can show how to make a flat map of a globe without using any kind of... Making a map to a computer or phone is much easier. For example, look at Google Maps. It is based on a globe. If the Earth were flat, that kind of problem would be avoided. Making a working flat Earth map would be very easy. So why is there no map of the flat Earth? For the simple reason that the Earth is not flat. They are talking about their black swan. But take very lightly on the fact that there is no map of a flat Earth. However, they require proof that the Earth is round. There are pictures, there are working maps and there are many experiments that show that the Earth is round. But they all reject as scam, unscientific and fake. No. The burden of proof does not lie with us who know that the earth is round. It lies with the idiots who say we are wrong. There are only two options when it comes to describing these gentlemen. Imposters or idiots. Thanks for watching. We'll be out soon with more material. Mm -hmm.